Hey boysies, how's it going? How are you doing? So I'm just going to move this up, I'll be... There we are. How are you doing, boysies? So I today we're digging back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, a game that I played a ridiculous amount as a kid, but I've never beaten. I've got up to the famous labyrinth at the very end and I've never seen past that. So I figured, why not, might as well stream it. So since last time we were in ancient Egypt, we, uh, we're at, we met some of our friends who are seemingly like characters from, you know, the, the show. Uh, we got overthrown by uh, the High Mage, I think it's Haitian. I used to always say Hessian, but I think it's Haitian. Uh, we're now far in the future as Yugimoto, and we're taking part in something I believe it's called the Millennium Tournament or the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championships, whatever it's called. So, since then, because my deck was so bad, I got really bad RNG. I've had to do quite a lot of grinding, which I'll show you now. Like, so I've just been, so there's a mode called Fusio, which is like you can repeat drills. So, yeah, 11 to Weevil, uh, 20 wins against the Raptor, uh, Big Haishin murdered me, and 7 against the Queen of All Waifus, my Valentine. So I, our deck, um, excuse me, my throat's going a little bit. Our deck is a little bit better, but I don't know if it's actually good enough to actually keep going. So we're just have to, gonna have to push ahead. So we're now, we should be coming up for the quarterfinals of the tournament, or maybe we've got, you know, a couple more preliminaries down. Oh, there's Taya, asking what we want to do. We want to leave the shop. And we'll dig right back into the tournament. Oh, this game's so fucking cozy. Oh, here we go. Preliminary match for Yugi versus Bandit Keith, who, due to Yugi Obrid series, I can just see this a mere obsessed maniac. Basically, Duke Nukem, but, you know, with cards instead of guns. There he is. What a, what a boy. Look at him. Long time no see, I came to bury you, Yugi. It looks like fucking. What I imagine Cody Rhodes would look like if he was part of Aces and Apes. Yes, man, here we go. Get ready for a thrashing. Right, here we go. So I've got again my so my deck's a little bit better, but Bandit Keith is at a point in the game where the card where suddenly everyone has fucking amazing cards. So right, we've not actually got much we can do in the first segment. So what I'll do, I'll just put out some. I'll just put a. It's gonna be the wee fire knight. He's not super powerful, but it uses up deck like cards. So I'm just hoping that I can get a card that's... Right, I'm worried that he's put defence mode. I'm really worried about that, oh god. Right, uh... Hmm. Oh, actually I don't know, because that's Saragor that's that's give me flame ghosts. Oh, actually no, I'll be fine. Oh god, oh, that's okay. Oh shit, I want to get that armoured zombie. Not skeleton knight. Oh no. I didn't even look and I got a fucking advantage. Right, I'm actually part 2000, so I need to do more damage than 2000. He's got to put something in his guard. Yep. Bye bye zom uh, skeleton knight. Big genie. Hmm. Right, so I can make Thunder Dragon now, but I don't actually know if Thunder Dragon is strong enough to... So what I might do is I might just... Uh, this is going to make nothing, but hopefully it'll get me some defence. Yeah. Ah, I've got so many useless cards in my deck that I'm just... I need to get rid of that Beast Warrior thing because he doesn't... Oh shit. That's probably a trap. Right, I need to be careful because... We're at the stage now where I can't. Yep, here we go. Big black one, fire dragon. This should make uh, one of the most powerful cards in the game. There we go, twin headed thunder dragon, who's the card that I'm probably going to be relying on for the rest of this run. The two headed thunder dragon, capable of powerful electrical, electric attacks. Uh, he's got to be our, our boy. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a tasty one. That's a lot of damage. Holy shit! Yes, man. I don't think Bandit Keith actually has anything that can take on two-headed fire dragon or two-headed thunder dragon. 
Oh, what do you know? I can make another. But what I'll do is... Again, it's not super powerful, but it's something to give me a little bit of extra firepower. Faster. Sometimes I'm not going to get a high rating for this. Uh, what can we do here? Oh, here we go. We can get Metal Dragon. Which then will give us... Yep, so what we'll do is put the machine up first. Then the dragon, then the thunder. So if the machine kind of fails, I can always get... Yes, and here we go. We've got quadruple-headed stun twin thunder dragon. So. Right, well, if I can damage... No, I won't. Ah, could I attack the Nickel Gal, but... Oh well, cat girl, do your thing. Come on. This might be it. Come on. Right, give me something that I can do. Uh, big flower wolf. Let's go. And I'll send flower wolf in first, just in case it's. Yes, man, your boy has beat Bandit Keith. He's done it for America. Yes, man. You know, playing to the you know, memes that me and like, like you know, for, uh, Yu Gi Oh! Uh, a bridge was fucking huge when I was a kid. Armored Zombie? Yes, that's actually a card I really, well, not really wanted, but it's a card that I could use with, you know? I, I, yeah, ah! Meet the card professor beaten by this kid. Yeah, get to fuck. Yes, man. I heard you made the finals, that's great. Keep it up. Now what do you want to uh, probably save? And then I'll, uh, so we're beating Big Homelander, Big Cody Rhodes, Big... What's that? Insect Soldiers? Insect Soldiers that attack in swarms. Right. Okay, we're probably not going to use him. We'll get rid of Mountain Warrior. We'll get a big armored zombie in there. A warrior raised from the beyond. Blindly swings a sharp blade with devastating force. I had this card as a kid. This was actually one of my first cards I got. Because I, I was actually gifted by like an older relative. He literally gave me like about four or five cards, not a lot. It was literally a, a, de a booster deck card, a, what are they called, you know, the wee booster packs. He got it, he just gave me a couple of cards that he didn't want, and I fucking treasured them. And then when I got my uh, main, when I got my main deck, because I bought the, I think it was the Yugi, yeah, the Yugi structure deck I got as a kid. I got that, and uh, now I just put these cards in it. And, I think I've actually still got the same armor zombie card. It's maybe just it's just fucking done because it'll be twenty one year old. I think. What do you want to do? Wait, yeah, let me try. Oh, probably close because Yu Gi Oh came to over here about two thousand one. I think. Well, this game this game released in about two thousand two thousand one. I think. Please shop. Let's head back. Did I save. That's why I need to start being careful because. Hey, Yu Gi, here you're winning. Yeah, how about you? Me? Well, I ain't been eliminated yet. Maybe this time I'll face you in the finals. We my big Brooklyn rage. Yes, man. Uh, I hope so, but... Oh, what's wrong, Yugi? Over there, it's Shady. I find it so weird that they still... They're acting as if this is like a sequel to the animated series. Or the anime. Where they all know, where they all know these characters. But it's... It's in a weird sort of because this would actually predated the anime. Unless, uh, with the legend, there was a, there's a famously never, oh, big shady. We meet again, Yugi. I can't remember if he's a good guy or a bad guy. What are you doing here? Are you looking for something? I was summoned by Yugi's Millennium Item. The Millennium Puzzle? That's correct. My own Millennium Item is reacting as if it wants to be here. Here and now, two seconds, please, and I do a cough. That was a, a burp and a cough there. Uh, I believe that every last Millennium Item is gathered here at this tournament. It's a fucking gathering, yes man, there can only be one. My mission is to discover the secret of these items. That is what brought me here. Chad, eh? I had a weird dream about the Millennium Puzzle. There was another guy like me in the dream, locked in the puzzle, in another world. Wait, so... 
So let's just say, uh, so these characters all know each other. Maybe, it, uh, maybe it's like a something to do with the manga or whatever. Maybe there was, because I know there was a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh season zero before the card game was ever actually introduced, where it was just uh, this you know little boy who was, like playing games had the spirit as ancient pharaoh. But season zero was a lot darker because they would actually kill characters off in the like in season zero. Which is uh, very, very tough. Like, they basically some Billy would attack them, and then, like, suddenly it'd be a game like. Uh, I don't know, it'd be like you draw a red or a blue. Red red card or a black card, and then. I, I remember the first episode really clearly because I seen it as a kid, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Uh, and it's like, if you draw red, you get fr- you move further down. If you draw black, you go higher up, and basically it was like a soft trap. It was pretty weird. There was another guy in the. Uh, like me in the dream, walked in a puzzle in another world. It was a really strange dream. I see that might have something to do with the Yami with Yami Yugi, your doppelganger. My doppelganger? Yugi, have you ever thought about meeting your dark twin? Me? Meet him? How is he gonna do that? We use my Millennium Key to open your mind, Yugi. This cunt is cutting about a giant key. By delving deep into your mind, you can probably meet the other you that lies within. Yami Yugi was born from the power of the Millennium Puzzle. He emerges from within you. The dream you had. Maybe he's trying to tell you something. I think this might be a thing to meet him and talk. I see what you're saying. I'll go see him if you're willing to help me. Okay, here, touch my Millennium Key. Oh dear. Now, close your eyes. Relax and open your mind. This is my mind. Yes, man, we're inside that painting with the steps. I, I was gonna make a god sound like a smart guy. Not smart. I was gonna, I was gonna sound like a smart arse going Oh, look, it's that painting. I don't remember know its name. Oh, there he is. There's big. You, you and me. It's funny how this pharaoh from millennia ago somehow has the same shockingly terrible hair that Yugi does here. Big Prince Mikey. This is the first time I've met you, and it's so, so strange. I can see inside your mind. I don't need words. I can understand you. Just by facing you. You want to return back to your own world. But it's not like a world that's a... Excuse me, near cough again. It's, it's not like a world that's a time. So, I don't know. I, I want to help. What do I have to do? Card. My face is blank. Wait, is that is this a card? Or what is this card? Sorry. So I really tickly cough, and as soon as I go to say something, it just sort of cuts me off, and my brain just goes bleh. Yuki, are you alright? Uh, yeah. Did it work? Did you meet him? I met. I met him. But we only spoke briefly. But he just kind of stared at me awkwardly. He told me he was a prince trapped in the puzzle from a long time ago. He said he had to get back to his own world. He asked me to help get him back. But I don't know how. Yugi, what's, what's that you got in your hand? Huh? This card. He gave me this card in my mind's world. He told me to use it to free him and to send him back to his own world. Wait, what, what's this shit? Excuse me, sorry. What is it, Shadi? I'm afraid I don't know. But it probably, probably has something to do with the Millennium Item. You don't say. Six blank cards. I don't, I don't get it. Time to head back. Why don't we think of this later? we got some jewels to fight. Yeah, don't worry about this Ancient Prophecy. We've got more kids' card games to play. Match one of the finals. You gave us a Shadi. What's is uncomfortable? Yugi, we were drawn to battle by our Millennium Items. We are destined to duel. Oh, hey JJ's girl, how you doing? What did I win? Oh yeah, I won the Armored Zombie against Bandit Keith. Right, here we go, back into the finals, let's go. Uh, what have we got so far? Oh, actually we can get a big Pump King out, uh, so... That should make like a zombie warrior. 
And there we go, get big pumpkin out. I'm okay, thanks. It was great seeing you at the sor uh, source. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Uh, did you enjoy yourself? I had a, I had a really fun time. Uh, it was really great getting to wrestle people who were a bit more... Like, that I wouldn't not normally get to wrestle. And Big Dark Elf, let's see, a wicked elf that just loves to engage in battle, right? She's more powerful now, but... I'm going to put Wasteland down and hopefully give Big Pumpkin a energy boost. Because, like I, I said before, Shadow can come out with some... Well, I didn't reckon it with a big fish called Wild WoW Warrior, but he can sometimes come out with some nasty stuff. And that's what bollocks was, I got to see ADM come out of murder and, Oh yeah, because he wears the... In ICW, he just wears the... The street gear. But aye, it's uh, sort of, like it's always a lot of fun, especially on like this, I don't want to say more shows, but it's sort of showcase shows where it is literally just about getting around, just having fun, you know. Right, hopefully I can get this over and done with before uh, Shadow can even get a ball ro like the ball rolling with the uh, the but. Oh, thank you, but thank you so much for your King Words. I don't, again, I had the fucking ball there, it was great fun. Uh, I got a lot of really nice comments over things, like, uh, one of the wrestlers' dad said, came up to me and says, Oh, was real, your stuff was really funny, I really enjoyed it. And I was, I was like, I've gone in the match for a little bit, but he says, I really like you when you knock yourself out twice. And I was like, Yes, man, there we go. Because that's what I, I pay attention to when people who don't watch wrestling come up to me and, and mention, like, stuff that they like. I was like, Right, there we go, that's what I should be doing here. I was at Disco and ICW last weekend. Although, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but... Did you, did you have a good time at some of them? Uh, like... I heard Disco was a really good show as well, because quite a few of my pals were booked over there as well. Uh, right, who will we get out? We've got... Big King Rex, Dark Elf, and, uh... Let's get... Big Green Phantom King and Dancing Elf together, and hopefully that will make the... I think it's Autumn Queen? Yeah, Queen of Autumn Leaves, there we go. Hopefully you've not got a big defense boy. Yeah. Oh, Shaddy's been Shaddy's really easy this time. I got really good RNG for him because he's not brought out any of his diff hard cards or anything like that. Disco was hilarious, particularly during the Disco Dare match nice W is a great show. That's good to hear. Big M Warrior one. I'll give I'll give we M Warrior a try, let's see what he does. But that's good to hear, like I'm glad that wrestling's actually it's taking like it's taking me a while to get the ball rolling again, just for COVID and everything else. But I feel like we're actually back, and there's a lot more there's interest in it, which is amazing. Because I thought I'm just glad there's shows. You know, I thought after COVID there was gonna be nothing. You know, and I'm just glad there's that many shows doing well, and uh, and then even like the amount of younger wrestlers that are coming through, their future is looking bright. You know, teams have lost. Hmm. What the? My Millennium Key and Millennium Scales? Oh, so he's... Uh, look at this cunt taking his Millennium Key and Millennium Scales. Wait, is that fucking sound effect? Is that for Spyro? Was that... I'm sure that was used in Spyro as well. They've been drawn into the cards. So this is why the Millennium items were so drawn to each other. Were drawn to each other this day. Big Gant, Yugi, and it seems your friend has summoned items together to absorb them into these cards. So basically, I need to beat everyone and steal their mad magical items. Let's go! Right, so I'm just getting comfy. So I'm, I'm actually just I'm lying on my big bed now, because uh, I don't really have a stream set up now. But uh, we're, I'm moving to a new house, and I know it's a wee while, it's February, you know? Uh, but I'm actually getting like an office area, which I'll be able to stream. I'm really looking forward to that. I think I know that's miles, that's not miles, that's like ages away, but. Time. Excuse me, you know, time flies. Big M Warrior 1. Look at this boy. That's quite a look. I don't know if he's got blue skin or if he's wearing something, but just wearing nothing but a helmet. That's quite a, you know, a, quite a uh, power stance there. Specializing in combination tactics, this warrior uses magnetism to block the enemy's escape. I always found that the character, like, weak characters had really cool looks and really cool, like, sort of weird, you know, descriptions on the card. Because they're so weak, they're useless, you know? I watched the episode SWN today, starting from the very first one. Oh, Billy's a really good interviewer. 
Like, I was on one, and I, I think I was on the... Yeah, I was on his first birthday one, which was like a quiz show, and I was on the... I done one myself, and I had a, I had a fucking great time. It was a lot of fun. He's a really good interviewer. And I've, see, I've seen quite a few other ones as well, and they're all real, like, really, really good. And I think, because I... Like, I've known Billy for a good few years now, but I've, that was the first time I've actually ever talked to him. Like, in pe- like not in person, but I mean, like, over... First time I talked to him, and straight away I was just like, there we go, I, I feel like I can, you know, I'm feeling comfortable, I'm feeling... You know, I can actually have a good conversation with him, if you know what I mean. Match two of the finals, Yugi versus Bakura. Oh, Bakura's my boy. It's odd, I had no intention of joining in this tournament. But my Millennium Ring, it called me to battle. Uh, I'm only episode six or seven, I think. I've got a lot of episodes still to get through. And Billy's lovely, which, yeah, Billy's a really good host. And he started, and he, I think he interviewed everyone. Like, or a large amount of people, so it's you're getting plenty of different people, plenty of different points of view, and the thing I loved about it is I was worried, I was like, because at the time I wasn't feeling particularly passionate about wrestling at the time and suddenly like, we were talking about all sorts, you know, we are talking about movies, comic books, we are talking about just other interests in our life like, wrestling was still, we are still talking about that, but you know, that was really really good, you know, but my line right, called me to battle, so Bakura in the anime He's this little sort of meek, quiet character, but he's got the spirit of this ring that possesses him. Yeah, I heard Brody Adler's first episode with, with SWN earlier, she was talking about music as well, rest. Yeah, because I actually I had an idea for a podcast I was going to do, but I decided to put more time into my Twitch streams. Uh, and basically, because I, I mentioned it in the, in the thing, in the podcast, I was like, I, I like when wrestlers are able to talk about things that aren't wrestling because we all have different, a lot of different other passions in our life. We all have different loves, you know. So my gimmick was I was going to interview wrestlers, but after the first ten minutes, like literally, you introduce yourself, you give yourself a wee sort of, oh, I'm, you know, I'm like Manlon, I trained at Source. I've been, I debuted in like, you know, 2014. I've been training since 2012. Uh, I wrestle like this, so I've advertised myself a little bit, and then as soon as ten minutes are up, you go right no talking about wrestling anymore what else you know what else are you passionate about and my first episode I had lined up was gonna be uh, Scott McManus or Fuzzy as we all know him because Fuzzy actually has a big zoo and he's not a big zoo but he's, he looks at a heaven's part to look after a lot of animals so that was gonna be we're talking about his animals we're talking about like just shows he likes and all stuff like that you know because I because I feel I was like right we need to know the person behind the wrestler a little bit you know but uh, that was my idea no, never got rented, but I got to go show a little bit of it in SWN. He's crossing my fingers as he goes going back at the source, next social getting our same pick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But I, I, I'm sure, I'm sure you're getting that one. Hey, don't worry, don't worry. Sure he's gonna be at the next social show. Don't you worry. Oh, big Bakura. There we go. He's evil now because his hair's all spiky. Yeah, good to see you, Yugi. It's high time he proved to real game master is. Who's the who is it in Game Master? It's Trevor McDonald, the new one. I can't remember who done the old one. But don't worry, I'm sure you'll get the chance to get another one. I love Zero, but uh, they find him creepy. That's the idea. He's meant to be that way. He's very good at playing that character, and he's got kill me for saying it. But the the guy behind Zero, Matt, is a lovely person. He's so quiet. He's so like he's a really caring person, you know. But then when he tur- when he wrestles, it's like a switch goes on. You know, he just he just turns into this like monster. You know what I mean? We're green. We're gonna mix green Phantom King with armor zombie to get big pumpkin. Because Bakura's got some pretty dangerous uh, fiend characters or demon. I think they're they're called in, yeah in Japan they're referred to as demon, but because they're aiming this to kids and back in two thousands, you had to be like oh. They're fiends, not demons, even though, you know, it's the same fucking thing. Right, uh, what can we do here? We can't do much here. We're actually quite limited what, with what combinations we can make, so what I'll do is, I think I might just use up cards here. Oh, thank you for the subscription, Megan. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for not going to any shows, man. I need to watch my money next couple of weeks. Ah, uh, because we've been to quite a lot, just, you know. 
Take some time to relax. And... I know, but oh fuck, I forgot Bakura's got that uh, man named Shield, doesn't he? Oh, 200. Right, I need to be careful. Can't be jumping at the attacks like that. Oh shit. Oh shit, mystical sand. Fuck. Oh, this big sand witch just destroyed my big pumpkin boy. Crawling dragon too. Right, so I've got a dragon here. A powerful dragon with teeth that can grind almost anything to dust. But he's not powerful enough to take down the big sand witch. Uh, right, I'm going to use up all the things I've got just to try and put some sort of line of defense down. Oh shit. Oh no. Yeah, I, think I forgot about that. I was like, oh, I'll make big pumpkin, but... Right, just defend. All we can do right now is just defend against big sand. Uh, is it mystical sand? Yeah. Also, I'm worried about what that card is that he's put into defense. Ah, oh, nothing thunder. Uh, hmm. What have I got? I've got uh, nothing I can put against them now, so I'm just going to have to keep putting in cards to defend myself with. Nothing. Ah, oh, well. Right, defend. I just hope that. Just hope that Bakura doesn't hit super hard. Right, that's not too bad, big steel ogre. And mystical sand, gotta take that out. Yeah, that's cool, we can't take. Yes, now here we go. Uh, I'll put La La Loon and Crawling Dragon 2 together and get a twin head Thunder Dragon. There we are, yes man, uh, moon. Power of the moon. And here we go. Oh, we're getting a big 3D battle. Yeah, the kid, this blew my mind because I was like, oh my god, you can see them in 3D. But it's obviously shockingly bad looking 3D now. Because this is, yeah, look at that, it's hardly the big mock. That's my most dangerous card, look at it. Come on, come on, Thunder Dragon, what you gotta do, come on. Yes, man. Yes, man, there we are. He is honking looking. Uh, I hate him. Where? How does he pee? How does he? I don't think he can get up if he falls down. Oh well, biology for you. Right, that's okay because they're going to shake themselves and they'll go. Oh no. What are they making here? Oh, it's okay. It's just a. It's some kind of mutant Barney dinosaur. Uh, right, what would I get him? Black Line Fire Dragon and. Bat! Mix them up and get. Big Metal Dragon, there we are. Uh. There we take down Stone. Uh, Big Steel Ogre. Right, destroy us, what's this? Oh, there we go. Castle Dark Illusions, that's a dangerous one. Oh wait. Oh shit, I should have destroyed Neko Gal. Wasn't paying attention. I'm worried that's a trap now. Right, Cannon Soldier and Urbi. To get big Cybersaurus. What a cool fucking card. Again, Nerd Harder has a kid. Look at him. He's a dinosaur with a cannon. He's so fucking cool. I love him. Uh, oh god, it's a trap. It's not a trap, thank god. Well, pardon me, I did a wee burp there. A hot spice to take. Uh, let me think. Uh, what is a hot take? It's not really a hot take. I think uh, WWE's programming has been shockingly shite for the last year or so. Like, I understand that I'm not the target demographic and it's clearly aimed towards kids. And I'm not saying this like AEW is perfect either. AEW, I'm not embarrassed watching around other people. WWE has got me to the point where I can't watch it around other people because I will cringe so badly knowing that people know I'm watching this. Like, if I'm, if I, because there was a while it was on someone was streaming Raw to Twitch every Monday and I'd have it on sometimes and if Megan walked in I would, I would like, 
in that case, I agree with your take on that, and I, I don't, I, was, I don't know if that was a really hot take. Again, but the wrestlers, the wrestlers have never been better. It's the writing and the booking that I've always, I just don't like, and I understand. Again, it's clearly not aimed at me, but I'm not like, I'm not like a big, like a big wrestling guy. But I, I'm a wrestler, but you know what I mean. I'm not like, like I don't care about like, I don't want to say like, a match doesn't like. How does it, like, I'm more into the entertainment side. It's, the, it's why I grew up in, or why I got really into wrestling was characters, promos, uh, characters, promos, weird sort of stuff like that in wrestling. You know, like that stuff I'm interested in. I don't really care much for the wrestling side. If you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, like the guys, the guys in WWE, the wrestlers have never been better, but the product they put out is shockingly shite. AEW is better with some, again, phenomenal wrestlers, but I'm actually not embarrassed watching AEW. That's, uh, I think that's probably the spiciest take I've had for a while is that they will get Dragon Zombie out there to get, again, it might not be a crazy amount of damage, but, but I'm just gonna go with a heavy gun first, there's the throne, and then just hit with Cybersaurus and Dragon Zombie. I fucking love Cybersaurus, he's so fucking cool. Oh shit, Dragon Zombie's down. Lamin's destroyed, Dragon Zombie. Shite. Right, uh. Hmm, who can I make? What can I do here? Uh, these. I don't know if these two will go together. Nah, they won't. Oh well, we've got, uh, let's just see the boy do his job. Come on, what have we got? Go on, Giz. Okay, I think just as a kid seeing the models in 3D, there we go, like Cybersaurus, my boy. Don't know many dinosaurs that are polka dotted, but okay. Versus Lamun, it's like an angel type thing. Come on, Cybersaurus, come on. Yes, man. Yes, man. Cybersaurus is the boy, look at him. I've not done, I've, I know Mecha Godzilla's mean, but I've never done like a Cyber Godzilla where it's like a hybrid. I lie, take a lie, they've done that in the Godzilla animated series that was done after the Matthew Broderick movie, which the movie isn't great, but I grew up watching the series and I really enjoyed that. And there was like Cyber Godzilla in that, who was like a uh, half, like an undead, half robot Godzilla. It was really cool. Godzilla with the third eye. We'll give that a wee look after, see what card that is. A lot of nostalgia for like the old, like first run of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh, excuse me, you need a burp again. There we go. I guess I won't be claiming the Game Master title. What in the... See, I'm stealing his ring and that spagro sound effect's playing again. My Millennium Ring has been sucked into a card. So the Bakura's actually possessed by the Millennium Ring, so the ring, it used me. Thanks, Yugi. I'm now free of the Millennium Ring. Keep focused, Yugi. I think winner. Now, what, what do you want to do? Again, just save because this is one of the games. If you get a game over, you go straight back to the main menu and lose all your progress consistently. Goddess with her die. A goddess with the all seeing eye that reveals all. I mean, that's kind of what all seeing eyes do. So, what I'll do is I will. Uh. Will I get rid of? You're alright, you're alright. Get rid of the key mace and I'll put goddess with her die in. Because uh, the main thing is it just needs to be a female and then I can use, uh, if it's the card that I, then I can combine things with it. That's how I get like mystic, uh, mystical sand and all that. If it's a character who is a female or appears female in the sort of design, that's what it is. What a final match, you gave us Pegasus. Oh, big Pegasus, look at him. He's so Big Pegasus is uh, is the main villain of the first arc of Yu-Gi-Oh, and I always thought he was cool as fuck. He's like it's rich. Uh, look at him, he's amazing. Well, well, Yu-Gi-Boy, you've came a long way, but now it's time to lose. He's actually got 
you can't see it in artwork, but he's actually got like a, a it's like an Egyptian. It's like all the Millennium items. He's got his eye has been put into one. It's really cool. And he's actually got his gimmick with his cards are interesting because his thing is he loves cartoons. So he's got a lot of car uh, cards that are based off cartoons and stuff like that. In the show, it's really like he's got two decks. He's got like that one, and then he's got this really love crafting type monster one. Right, so we've had a not bad start. We've got to put Dark Elf out because she can hit quite heavy. She's got no defense, but uh, she can actually hit quite hard. So we'll just have her out as our sort of big heavy hitter first. Right, what's he putting down? Defense mode, right? That's. I was going to say that's either a good thing or a bad thing, but he can put down. Uh, let me think. So what I'll do is I'll put that down. Hopefully get this might work. Or that will give us zombie warrior. We'll then go with that and give us big pumpkin. Yes, man, pumpkin. Do you get it? Because he's a pumpkin and he's a king. What a guy. Better rush out a pumpkin first. Shit, prevent that. Right, and Dark Elf won't be able to destroy that because it's 2000 as well. Right, uh. Hmm. Oh shit. Rest in peace, Pumpkin. Not Regeki, but I was saved Regeki. But I do have a Crawling Dragon 2 and Triple Wire Beast, which means I can get, get Triple Wire Beast and get Crawling Dragon 2 and mix them up. And Twin Head of Thunder Dragon. Yes, Twin Head of Thunder Dragon, come on. Let's go! get Parrot Dragon, which is such a cool card. Big, it's a dragon, it's also a big parrot. Can't destroy prevent that this turn. Oh shit, shit, no, don't. What's that? Crimson Sunbird. That's cool. That's cool. I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with that, but you know what I mean. I need to be okay with it. Uh, I'm just going to use up these cards. I'll get Twin Head with King Rex out there. It really annoys me. They say it in the description that he's a dragon. He's not a dragon, he's a dinosaur because you can't combine him with any of the dragon cards. So I'll destroy Crimson Sunbird and I can't do anything this turn, so I'll wait. So what I might do is I might just get all these. Regeki, you bastard! Fuck! He destroyed my big Thunder Dragon. Right, uh. But it's okay. It's okay. Get Metal Dragon and then. Yes, man, got another one out. Yes, man. Destroy your wee rat for you. Yes, man. Fuck you, Pegasus. I think we can be next if it's uh Right, uh, what have we got? I think if we get the wrong, we can get Wood Remains. I think that'll give us Big Pumpkin. No, it will not. It'll just give us Wood Remains, who's a really shitty card. He's probably going to get killed next turn, so we'll look. Ah, I'll get a hit in. He's just having skull way with some feet. Well, it's again, it's pretty fucking terrifying. Right, attack pumpkin, there we go. And that weird dummy, that's getting it. That's an art card he uses in the show. See, so yeah, everything's clearly based off of things from the show, but it's not quite. It, it predates it. Right, I don't know. Uh. Okay, I'll put yeah, I'll put dancing open. Uh, they might go together. I'm not sure. Big Celtic Guardian, or as a, a kid I used to always say Celtic Guardian. And here we go. Oh, he's getting a purpose as well because the sign that you choose can give you a rub pair of scissors. And we're getting an R three D fight. And there we go, creepy. Oh, I hate him. I hate him. So what is that back mouth for? Versus this weird mannequin doll thing. Oh, I don't like you either. Like, I don't like you, but I like your thing less. There we go. Kill it with... I was going to say fire, but kill it with thunder, I guess. And it's laughing as it's killed. That's unsettling. <laughs> Excuse me. That's very unsettling. I don't like that. Yeah, as soon as we kick your feet to celebrate, it's still manky and I still hate you. Why has it got fucking, like, butt spikes? And then we'll have Big Celtic Guardian get a shot in. 
he's a card like he's not so powerful, but he's used a lot in like the anime and, and promotions, promotion, uh, promotion material and stuff. I also, it was pretty cool. It's the L to a sword. I remember I used it because I didn't really care much for like powerful cards. I don't know why I didn't. I was a weird kid. But uh, so I like really like the sort of ones they use in the show. So I would trade all my really good cards away and have these shaders and go like, "This is my favorite card, like, make it." This is shite. I'm getting Goddess with a third eye out. Because I think we've won this one anyway. Yeah. Thunder Dragon killed Rude Kaiser, or Kaiser. Rude Kaiser is probably it, yeah. And Goddess with a third eye. There we go. And your dad's won. Yes, man. Get up, you Pegasus. Ease your fucking eye. The acid. Oh, I've got a trap card. That'll be really useful. I have to be grinding these a lot. Defeat can be bitter. That's right, I beat you at a kid's card game. Geese your fucking eye. Just gotta pull it out. Oh dear. I don't believe it. My Millennium Eye. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not as, like, we're not gonna show him, like, holding his eye socket or whatever. One more Joe Yugi, and then it's time for the final battle. What do you wanna do? Well, preferably I wanna save. Oh, I'll save, I'll save twice just to make sure, because you know, can't be too careful. That's a trample when monster attack is 3000 or lower, it's eliminated from the playfield. Right, that's getting put in. Uh, what do I want to give? I'll get rid of one of these two headed King Rex, because they're not. They're good, but I've got three of them. I don't, really don't need three. Because they're like Rex Raptor's main card, and because I, I grinded Rex Raptor to get dragons, I've got a lot of them. Here we go. Semi final match Yugi versus Isis. Oh dear. Yugi versus a terrorist core. It's fine, I'm sure the name's been for you. It's my pleasure to face you in battle, Yugi. But only one will walk away victorious. Me! Again, I don't remember her from the show. I'm sure she was a car, I, I, but I just don't remember her at all. Right, here we go, we've got Regeki, we've, got, we've not got much in the first turn. Uh, you're probably best just using these, that'll make Bean Soldier, I think. And then not nothing there, but... Get the Skullbird out, there's not much I can do with that uh, hand now. Right, what are you, what are you giving me? Oh my god, Black Skull Dragon! One of the most powerful cards in the game. Well, good thing she's got that out early because I'm just going to do this and pray to God that she's not got another one. I think we might have hit another difficulty spike in the game. Aqua Dragon, yeah, that's a bit more. It's not great. I don't, I, I don't want it, but uh, I don't want to use. Fuck, I'm going to have to use that. Those two. Oh! What will do is look just to get rid of you. Because I need to get. Uh, I guess I can. How oh, about what? I'll save Can Soldier because I might need Can Soldier to make. Uh, I'll get rid of Wasteland as well. I'll make Cybersaurus who's got to get killed unless. Unless I get really lucky with the. Uh, nah. Right, but at least Cybersaurus can take a hit from Big Aqua Dragon. Right, and I'm putting a magic card down. Right. right here we go, we can do this. Don't give me a drag. Fuck! No dragon. Uh, I'm just going to keep throwing stuff down for defence. But I just need to get that uh, twin headed thunder dragon. Otherwise, if I don't get it next turn, I'm... Oh, I don't like that they've got all those cards. Oh Jesus! Yeah, I don't think I'm winning this one. I'm getting really lucky with the fact they're not drawing any like, they're not playing any monsters. Oh, oh! 
Oh, if I can get, if I can't get to the third dragon at this turn, I'm fucked. Yep, rest in peace. Rest in pies. Right, that's the first, first loss of the stream outside of the high syndrome, which you need to lose. What's this? Parky's Fire Duster gets rid of my trap card. Shite. Beaten by my own card. Motherfucker. Right, there we go, I lose. Isis beat me, there we go. Oh my, I believe I won, didn't I? I heard you were strong, but not strong enough. And there we go, it's the first time we've seen the game over screen. Hopefully the last. No, I don't remember Isis being super difficult, but... You know, I, I it's a good thing I saved twice before the actual fight. Right, we're gonna load because we got really unlucky there. But you know what? Next time, we're going back in and we're beat. We're going back in and we're bartering big ISIS. Let's go. Here we go, yes. Yeah, I know it's your pleasure to face me, but only one will walk away victorious. Me, we, Prince Mikey, or, yeah, or Yugi. I can't remember who I'm playing as in the segment. I think I'm Yugi, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm only Prince Mikey in the past. Here we go, come on. Come on, dragon, come on. God. Damn it, right, here we go. It's at least something. There we go, Flower Wolf. You're not powerful, you're not super powerful, but I got you out there. Don't play Black Soul, dragon. I'll greet, I'll actually just cry if you do it. Oh, fuck off, Aqua Dragon, same card. It's not Black Skull, so that's okay. Black Skull is the only thing that I can't beat in a fair fight. So I'll keep Lala Uh Big Tiger Axe, Tiger Axe is in the bin, and Cybersaurus. But, sorry, Cybersaurus, they're getting put in the bin. If you can, you kill Aqua Dragon. Aqua Dragon is destroying Cybersaurus and other Aqua Dragon. My god. Slay, oh, she's starting to slay me. Uh, right, that'll maybe get us. Oh no, I've done it wrong and now I've just got a shitty little wood remains. No man, I thought I could at least get Pumpkin out to try and put some line of defense down, but it's not went that well. Unless I can get, if I can get one of my dragon boys out, then I can maybe do alright against her, but holy shit. No dragon, fuck. Right, uh, just throw them out there, I don't care what, who goes out, just. Right, uh, you name me, name me, name uh, Jupiter. Come on, beat. God. Damn it. Right. I think I might be dead this turn. No, no, I've got one more turn in me. One more turn. One more turn, come on. Give me a dragon card, give me a dragon card. I'm worried that I'm going to get a dragon card out. God damn it, right. Game suck boys, we're losing again. <laughs> We've lost. Flower Wolf and... Yep, I'll do it, I'll do it myself. Big Phantom Ghost is getting done in by Aqua Dragon. And Isis has beat us again, holy shit. Well, that did not go as planned. But it's alright, because we're gone. We're go. Try again, that's it. Third time's the charm. I'm feeling it. So I knew the game was going to get fucking solid later on, because it's pretty dang busted. Because the way the game works is like, well, it's only got it's got a limited pool of cards. Like in reality, in the Yu-Gi-Oh cards now, or even at a the time there was probably at the time there was probably in the thousands. Now I'm pretty sure it's in the tens of thousands. The amount of cards are because they're constantly printing new ones and shit. But this has got about I think 600 cards, and a lot of them are weak, useless ones. So a lot of the top, like the best character, the later characters. Use very similar decks, which is one or two main ones, you know. So I knew we were gonna hit a point where it just gets super difficult. 
Okay, here we go. Third team's the charm. So I forgot. I forgot. Start wasn't like, like to go forward there. Right here we go. Let's do this. Oh, we got it. It's not perfect. Now we go. Cyber source. Wait again. Not perfect. Cyber source is, is probably gonna get killed. Oh god dang it. Fucking Aqua Dragon, this card's gonna give me give me nightmares, holy shit, uh right. Don't need the trap. I'll get fuck the trap, I don't need the trap anymore. Oh no. Oh no. I f I, I forgot those two would actually make something. And armored zombies are armored zombies weakest. Like weak as fuck. And the thing is that like I've not got anything else that is on the level of that. I've got things I can get up to like 2001. Thank god, but I've not got anything that's you can bind them. I'll get my three dragons at once. Uh I'll get rid of the weakest one and that'll make Floyd's make dragon zombie. If I pour other dragons onto it, we'll get Curse of Dragon, which is two, about 2,000. Who isn't, again, isn't strong enough to actually even fight the Aqua Dragon. But all I can hope for is that she doesn't put a uh, Black Soul Dragon. Damn, the game's pretty loud. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's, it's either one or the other. Uh, yes, here we go. Right, Crawling Dragon 2 and Tripwire Beast. Let's go. Let's do this. Who am I beating up? I'm getting bartered by... Uh, Isis. Uh, she... Yes, my mate, I can beat that. I can... Here we go. Get him, Thunder Dragon. Get him. I'm in like the semi finals, I think, of this tournament. And. Yeah, by Isis. She's like, I've... I think she's the villain. I, can't... I honestly can't remember from the animated show. Because when I make show, I can remember the the first arc, the Jewel City arc, I think it's called, or the Battle City. That's horrible, that creature. I hate it. And look at. Oh, he's lovely. Look at him. He looks like fucking Peach Dragon. And I can remember GX really quite well. Everyone else can't remember. Oh, look at his beautiful early 3D models. Oh, they're wonderful. But yes, I finally killed our uh, Aqua Dragon with my big punk. Look at that honking creature. Look at it. It's horrible. Horrible. But he's doing the job. So I'm happy. I'm happy about that. So my throat's a bit sore, so I'm, you might hear me like, you know, cough, but not cough, but don't you do a geki. Oh, shit. No. oh shit, he's gonna be able to... Holy shit. Right, so Swords of Light, I can't attack for five minutes, I, not five minutes, five turns, I believe. And she's also neutered my twin headed Thunder Dragon, the... Right, uh... Hmm. All I can do right now is just get cards out to actually... Flame Cerberus. Uh, let's go with Pluto. Right. But I can't attack. Don't you dare combine cards. Don't you dare. Right, she's probably going to be playing on the defensive for now. So I'm just getting out as many cards as I can. Right, I'll make Bean Soldier and then that'll team up with... There we go, get Big Bean Soldier out, my boy. And then Bean Soldier combines to get Flower Roll. Right. Again, Flower Wolf is not powerful at all, but it's just to get things out in the field. Okay, I'm gonna wait till... Right, he's attacking Flower Wolf, that's cool. I'm okay with that. I'm not, I'm crying, but you know, you know what I mean, I need to put on a brave face. Right, uh, five turns, I believe. Damn it, I thought I would. Well, we've got a shitty little fire knight. That didn't go to plan. Right, uh. Hmm. Oh no! Oh wait, it's okay, that powers up my Thunder Dragon as well. 
out Rokia. Okay. Rokia, okay, because her... Yeah, it's not right. We can get another Thunder Dragon out. Uh, actually, we can't, because that'll turn into what I've got here. The fire. Right, I'll just get Dark Elf out. There we go. Just use up some cards in the deck. Uh... And should I attack? Holy shit! That big white, that big great white turtle's got some out of defence. Right, I'm gonna cast Regeki after this. That is a honk. What is that? That is honking. I hate it. Right, I'll get uh, this wee, this Yorkie. I should just cast Regeki and then get damage in, shouldn't I? No, I'll wait until I get uh, another Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon on there. Our flame service is weakened because of... At least Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon can do some damage against them. Oh, I'm shaking myself that she's got to loot uh, Black Skull Dragon, who's the only card that can actually do anything against my uh, Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. Save that or mm. oh, I'm in, I'm in a I'm in a pickle boys, I'm not quite sure. Uh, you know what? Regeki and Polygar the Regeki destroys all the cards on their field. I'll play it safe, I'll attack the, the Fire Knight. Oh fuck it, I will. How much health have I got? Oh, he's got 600, so if she whips out a big card, she can literally one-shot me with... ...by attacking him directly. Right, right, we're cool. Rainbow Marine Mermaid, right, we're laughing. I think we've won, boys. It's not... It's not ready to head Thunder Dragon, it's just normal Thunder Dragon. But you know what, Thunder Dragon's enough to... Just kill that mermaid, holy shit. He gets powered up, does that, and then we can... Yes, man, I beat Isis. <laughs> Manlon has beaten Isis. That's what the headlines are going to say. I got a dragon. Oh, I got another dragon. That'll come in handy. But I got a, a D rating. I'm not I'm not too bored about the ratings, because I clawed back barely in that one. How, how could I lose? She has a very long neck. And there we go, we've got our Mad Millennium Necklace. And Crash, do you think that sound effect? That sounds like it's from Spyro. Like, exactly like it. What? My Millennium Necklace? It's been drawn into a card? Yes, I think we've got everything. What? Well, yeah, I know it sounds just like it. It might just be from like some kind of like sound effect library they use or whatever. You made it to the final, I'm rooting for you. What do you want to do? I want to save because I'm a fuck going back and doing that ma match again because holy shit, she kicked my arse. We've got two game overs. Right, we're going to build the deck a wee bit. What shiters do we not need? Who was, uh... Who's just taking up space that we don't need? Uh... Playing Viper. Don't need you. Getting our dragon. A wee dragon scroll in there. Do have a thunder? A thunder card would be really useful. I've got Lala La La Leon. I'll, I'll leave it for now. Right, save. And here we go, we're going back into the tournament. Let's go. I think the finals is against Joy, I think. Well, this is it. Our finalists are the amazing Kaiba and the undefeated Jiggy. Wait, do we not fight Joy? Thought I might be. Oh yeah, because Kaiba beats Joy. Look at that lovely velvet suit. I love that he's still got the design from season zero of the anime, because this predates the anime, or at least it predates it coming over to the west. But they've used his design. The only thing that they've changed is his hair color, because in season zero he's got green hair, but season zero isn't actually based on the card game. It's just based around because you. I, 
they say Yu-Gi-Oh means King of Games. I'm, I don't know if that's a if it actually translates to Eden or if it's just you know it's nonsense. But uh, yeah, so he's meant to it's just all the you know life or death games and shit like that. Season zero is fucking dark and weird. Thought I might be facing you, Yugi. My Millennium Rod is a final item. You never have that in the show, ever. But the rod, the rod whispers to me that I must defeat you. I was gonna make a joke about a Rod uh, Stewart song, but I realise I don't know any. Uh, what was it in the bridge series? It was oh, screw the rules. I have money. Yeah, because they never play it with the like as the rules go in the show. Like it would be a bit shite if they were constrained by this. Is that how you play Yu-Gi-Oh? You do not, go, you know, you do not do anything apart from this. Yugi, prepare to lose. Right, let's go. Right, this car, this one might kill us because he gets, he's got the fucking blue eyes white dragon, which can wipe us the fuck out. And we've got a shite hand to start off. Right, uh, just get some defense out there. It won't do anything. But there we go, big pumpkin kind of goes. Big or not pump. King. Look at him, big pump king, you know why? He's already he's always ready to pump. Let's go. That's a fucking banger this tune. Right, here we go, we can do this. We can do this, come on. Don't be a blue eyes, don't be a blue eyes. Bastard! Is I've got horrible news. It's just in the sun. We can't do anything against that. He has three of those in his deck. And we can't beat it. We can't. Uh, even my, my most powerful card, Twin Head Thunder Dragon, can't beat that. So I need to get very lucky. So I'm just throwing everything out there because the main thing I need to do is get Twin Head Thunder Dragon out there. So he's. What, what's his mad sign? He's using, he's using the sun. Can't remember if it's the moon that affects it. I'm probably going to lose this one because I got really bad RNG if he's getting blue eyes in the first turn. Oh my god, he's got two blue eyes. Oh no, boys. Boys. And I've, and I've drawn absolutely nothing. Uh, yeah. Rest in peace, boys. It's been fun. The game's rigged. Aye. This game is really bad for its RNG and really bad for its flower wolf. Sorry, Pop, wait, there's the sun. Wait, oh, he's the sun blusher. I went to the moon. Oh, let me guess. Is it an other blue eyes? I'm going to greet if it is. Pirate Dragon. I'm still fucked anyway. That was a quick finals. Big Kaiba's barred us. <laughs> Yugi, I've waited for this day. This is a day I will never forget. Ha ha ha, when you beat me in a children's card game, fuck. That's it. I'm just skipping the wee game over screen again, we're diving right back in. That's maybe the point where I need to... Uh, which got? Campaign, right, we're gonna try it one more time, because hopefully we get better RNG there. Because I'm completely reliant on drawing a good hand at the start. If I don't get a good hand at the start, then Kaiba, if Kaiba can get the ball rolling before I can, I'm fucked. Right here, this is the grand final. Let's go against Kaiba in his lovely velvet suit. Like, really lovely velvet suit. It's not ideal. But it's not terrible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out these two. They're not going to do anything. That'll get rid of that one. Uh, but it's got, to, it's got to get me a turn. Because I've got a Rege uh, Regeki, which is good. You motherfucker, Kaiba. But I've also got a Thunder Dragon card there I can bring out. Uh, so what I might do is I might actually prolong this. And hope that he plays two of his, his blue eyes white dragons. 
back into the future gate and destroy them. Right, there we go. So if I can play off, right, there we go, I can get a Thunder Dragon. Should I, should I get a Thunder Dragon now, or... Send one out. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, it's Thunder Dragon that's choosing the moon because he's chosen the sun. It's like, you motherfucker, it's a bad one. No, oh, damn it. But let's then get his Metal Guardian out. Can't remember what is against the sun. So the, don't choose the moon, Mikey. It's, never, it's not going to go well in this fight. I was going to say, do I just fuck it? Hope that other cards are blue eyes that are destroyed. Man eating black shark, right? Cool, that's, that's not great, but not the end of the world, right? Uh, I'm not going to play Matt. What? How much does that have? 2100. Oh, I don't know if I can actually beat that this turn. I can get things out to to defend, which really all I'm asking for right now is just to build a line of defense. Oh shit. Oh, that's okay, the bird's still a bit powerful. Uh, the sun, let's choose the power of the sun. Nah, no good. Goldberg down. Capital Turtle's right, but Capital Turtle's weak. Come on. Oh, I don't have a Thunder card. Shit. Uh, what can I make here? What can I do? Nothing. So I'll, I'll get. Uh, we just got. I go Zombie Warrior, but I'll get. Uh, don't attack that. Attack Capital Turtle. So let's get a little shot in. Give me a thunder card, thunder. Cause I might, I might need to actually just go back and grind more, which is making me, I, I don't want to do the grinding. Flower wool, uh, I can make metal, I can make a metal dra- oh, I'll do the metal dragon. I'll do it actually, I'll make a flower wool. Then I'll make the metal dragon. Put the weird, weird dragon in there just so it's just to use up cards. Because, <laughs> oh fuck, Metal Dragon's not as strong as I thought. Mars, come on, Mars. We... Damn it. Right. For some reason, I thought the Metal Dragon was a lot stronger than I thought. Or a lot weaker than I thought, sorry. I thought it was a lot more powerful, but it ends up at its shape. Looks like I've still got one there. Give me a Thunder Fuck. Right, come on. Black Dragon Jungle King, right, don't choose. Choose Jupiter. Oh, I can get a bonus on this one. There we go, big Black Dragon Jungle King. Right, here we go, hopefully he can. If he plays a Blue Eyes, I'm just gonna cry. I'm just gonna greet. Don't attack. Yes, man, yes. Yes, man, here we go, right. Uh, I don't actually know how to get a. There we go, so get rid of that and then get Nickel Gal out. Again, she's she's just a throwaway card, she's just there to buy me time. Uh destroy man eating black shark because you could be a you could be a bother. Uh I'm not gonna attack with Nickel Gal because chances are he's going to fuck. No. Oh, that's okay. He got a Nickel Gal as well. Kaiba loves his cat girls. Right. Crawling Dragon, Wood Remains and La La Lion will hopefully give us a one-headed thunder dragon who's my biggest and hardest boy yes man here we go here we fucking go let's do this boysies right uh 
2000, so I can't, Nepal Girl can't destroy that. Let's go, okay, but come on. Nepal the cars right. There we go, Nepal Girl couldn't have killed that as well, but Nepal Girl can get a shot in the now. Come on, come on. This music's also very fucking good. I really like it. Defense mode. Boys, I think I might have won this one. But you know what? Get, uh. Just don't care, get everyone out. Don't care if it doesn't make it like Frenzy Panda. Right, here we go, uh. Make sure this thing is. Oh, that was close. Like, giant soldier stones down. Cat girl, go on. Get a shot in. Come on. Come on. Frenzy Panda, come on. Come on, Frenzy Panda. Right, and. Fuck you, Kaiba, yes! Black Dragon, Black Dragon Jungle King has just laid the final shot, and Mikey has won the Millennium, the millennium Tournament. Fuck yes! Get up, you Kaiba! Fuck you! Yes, man! Fuck your Tories! And I got a shitty Jack card, but I don't care, because I beat Kaiba. Woo! Oh, I'm sweating. I'm actually sweating. Holy shit. This can't be me defeated. Oh, oh, boys, I'm... Got a bit too excited there. What the the light is so bright. My millennium item drawn into a card. I now have all the cards with the millennium items. And there we go, and Prince Mikey went into the sky. Mikey, is this what you wanted? Sorry, we will be leaving the, the present day and going straight back to uh, ancient Egypt. Mikey, you've done it. Now you can go back to your own world. You have that boy to thank for this. Yugi, if I may be so bold, I believe the boy represents what you are to be. Now, with the millennium items pulling each other over time, the portal to our world can be opened. But, is that a time machine? Haishin now has the six millennium items and is ruled over an expansive realm. Using his items, he has managed to unleash a portion of the powers of darkness. He has placed each item in temples located at each conquered area to protect his holdings. Prince Mikey, you must retrieve all the Millennium items and seal them away once and for all. The locations of the temples containing Millennium items can be found in the ruins. My time has come. I have done all that I can do. My flesh is no more. These will be my last words to you, Mikey. I'll pick Simon's away. The rest is up to you. May success be yours. No, even a wee hug. We made it back. This looks like it ruins our temple. But there's nobody here. Right, so we're now in... So the way this works is like, as that was our time before. It's tiny. Uh, vast shrine. And then as you play through, you unlock... You can see you can unlock more. You get the shrines, which are like elemental shrines. This is where the game gets fucking solid. But this is also where you can farm really really good cards so what I might do is I might do this turn or this turn, this game and actually try and beat some of the what I'll do is old card right, we'll start at the old card shop because I was saved there everyone's destroyed there's nobody around oh well old jewel ground Pharaoh's palace, let's go to the palace there's nobody here enter Everyone's been destroyed. Who are you? No one's allowed here. Get out. Get out. Uh, let's just let him check it. Now, get out of here. Because I do not want to lose and have to do Kaiba again. Holy shit, right. Old Joe Ground. Let's have a look. Nobody's here. It's abandoned. Hey, Mikey. That's big joy. Wow, you're alive. I never dreamed I'd see us. I'd see you again, Mikey. Excuse me. Still can't believe it. You know, I was really surprised when I first learned that you were actually a prince. I don't know what the prince version of a pharaoh is, but... Or, you know, the pharaoh version of a prince, but you know what I mean. That wouldn't make more sense than calling me prince, I don't know. It's so good to see you. I never dreamed that you'd manage to get away. Mikey, this place has changed since you disappeared. It's a sad situation, but the jewels still go on at a secret location nearby. Come on, I'll take you there. Let's go.
Here you go. This is where we set up our new dueling grounds. So they've set up a secret base, like a rebellion against the evil high mages that have taken over. And they're like, wait, what would we do? I know what we'll do. We'll play children's card games. OMG the hair. It looks very Egyptian, doesn't it? Mikey, the mages spent days trying to find out where you might have run off to. When we said we had no idea, they destroyed our old dueling grounds. This is why me, uh, me and the card shop owner moved the dueling grounds down here. Mikey, you're alive! What do you expect? Mikey isn't dumb enough to be caught. You know, it's a miracle that you managed to elude them. Yeah, those guys have taken over the entire kingdom. They do as they please, control everything. They wield some kind of strange magic. Nobody can stand up to them. The way things are going, we'll have to live down here for the rest of our lives. Mikey, feel like Julian. It beats more when you're around just worrying about things. No, not right now, Decline. I'm sorry, sorry, Joy and Taya. We'll come back to you. Okay, maybe next time. The old man runs his card shop down here. Drop him when you get a chance. See you around. That's the first thing we're doing, is we're saving. What's that? Hidden card shop. There we are. Because I don't want to go against Joy and have Joy wipe me out. Because even if you're playing against your pals, it's still a game over if you lose. I haven't seen you in a while. As you can see, I'm still around. Card shop. Save. There we go, thank you. I'm saving multiple times just to make sure. Oh, Megan, if you think his hair's bad, look up uh, Yugi. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! main character. And he's got, quite possibly, the worst hair I've ever seen in an anime character. Right, I'm going to the dueling grounds and we're going to we're gonna go against Joey. What can I do for you? Dueling grounds, that's what you can do for me. Hiya, Mikey. You're looking good. Oh, thank you, pal. Well, Joe. Yes. I got a feeling today's my day. You know, it's not as if the world's near the ending or whatever. What's this? I caught so many giant. Let's have a look. A one eyed behemoth with thick, powerful arms made for delivering punishing blows. You look cool, pal, but you don't really fit into the. What I need? Because right now, my whole. Like, all of my cards is basically around getting the Twin Headed Thunder Dragon out. I need things that will power that up. Let's speak to the devil. First turn. There we go. Get Dragon Zombie, and then Dragon Zombie turns into Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. And he's a Pluto. Right, so one of the cards we can get is his main card. So his main card in the show is the Red Eyes Black Dragon. And that's actually a card he can drop here if you do really good against him. So we're probably going to be grinding this out off stream. Uh, Twin Headed King Rex. Nothing we can get here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip up to Twin Headed King Rex. Because even though... Oh wait. Whiptail Pro. I don't know what you are, but you're cool. So we're going to look at you afterwards. Come on, be weak. Yes, man. I just got... I was just lucky enough to get that. Right, here we go. Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Let's scalp this. Let's scalp Joey. Shite. He's in the big Garuzis. A fucking great name. Right, uh. There we go. Get my bit. Get big, uh. Quadruple headed double thunder dragon. There we go. Scalp Garuzis. And then. Kill. So his life points, and we should get. Yeah, we'll, we'll win next turn. Unless Joey whips it like one of the most powerful cards in the game, which I very much doubt he's gonna do. Uh, you know what? Because I like you, we're gonna send Dark Elf out to do the final hit. I like my Dark Elf. I, dark, uh, I like my Dark Elf card. But I had a cough come in there like, as I was talking. I like my Dark Elf card. She's not one I had in real life as well that I really liked. Because there's a blue one called Mystical Elf, and then they released this oh, you know, the evil version of her. The Melting Red Shadow. You're not the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Man, I was so sure that I was going to win this time. Looks like I'm just going to have to try harder. Ah, you fucking better, Joey. You're shite. What's up, Mikey? Feel like a Joe? Ah, sure, why not? Be warned, I'm good. I know you were shite the first time I ever... Uh, Fought you, so hopefully you've got a bit better with that than the melting red shadow. A creature that melts into the earth, melts with an opponent's shadow and attacks him below. Again, looks cool. Cool description, but it's really weak, so there's not much point using it. Right, here we go. Let's go against uh, Tia to, or I think it's Tiana they call her in the. Hey, 
what can I do here? Uh, I don't think Fairy and Dragon go together. There we go, let's give myself Metal Dragon. I, I don't know how... I don't think uh, she's got anything I really need to worry about card-wise. I say that, she's got to just wipe me out here. Oh shit! Oh, it's okay, it's just like Orion the Battle King. We did destroy one of my dragons, but that was because of me fucking about here. Uh, what is he? 1800. Keep my regeki just in case. Should have put a trap down there. I should have put that trap down instead. Because then he would attack it and then. I didn't think that one through. Really likes this Orion the Battle King card, doesn't she? Uh, yes, now here we go. So, which remains Crown Dragon to La La Lion. Gives us Skelligan and then Twin Head to Thunder Dragon. Yes, man, let's fucking go. Take out one of your Battle Kings. She'll shit herself and put them in defense mode, and then I can start getting out the. Not the head. Oh no. Oh, mystical elephant, that's easy. She's just got high defense, but she's not super powerful. Uh, uh, let's, let's get a big black forest dragon out. Or black dragon jungle king, yeah. Uh, any, many, many more. As long as I stay on the offensive and keep the ball rolling, then it should be okay. Because these guys can only get, like, they only get really nasty if you let them take you by surprise. Unfortunately, it has been happening to me a couple of times on stream because they'll just suddenly whip out these really powerful cards. Uh, there we go, that should give me the Peanut Autumn Leaves, I think. There we go, another card that I like because it's a wife that's on it. Uh, right. Black Dragon Jungle King will do the first attack. And I'll have the Peanut Autumn Leaves attack as well as the Twin Head Thunder Dragon. Yes, man, there we are. Right, uh... I'll get Flubber Wolf, I think. Yes, man, there we go. Big dumb wolf, and I've, I've won this one. That's easy. That's a fucking haunting creature. Ocube Beam, I think it was called. You know, autumn leaves, and then we'll have... Have my wee Flubber Wolf there. You both have pills on it. Yes, man, there we are. Beat Tia. Beat her easy. Ancient Jar. Eh. Another shite card, but what can you do? Darn, I lost. I know I played better than I've ever played before. Talk to someone else. Oh, you're back, Mikey. Nice to see you're still alive. Prince Mikey, so you're royally. Eh. Feels real strange after all we've been through. Everything seems so unreal. That's why we keep dueling. That's all we've got to keep us sane. We don't mind if we treat you like we did before. Come on, man, let's play. Win or lose, no hard feelings. You know what I find really strange? So, the other characters here, the villagers there, they're all like darker skin, which is probably, like, they're probably closer to what, you know, people in ancient Egypt would look like. And then there's the characters that are clear from the show, who are just white as fuck. They stand out so badly. Pale Beast uh, and Urbe. But Urbe is not strong at all, so I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna send you out there to get rid of cards. Urbe's just like a raptor, I think. Fasten its feet. This dinosaur rips enemies to shreds with its sharp claws. Yeah, I think Urbe's probably gonna get wiped out. Because these guys aren't super, like, hard, but. If you let, but they'll take you know they'll beat you if you're if you let your guard down. Well, does I put wasteland on? So that gives dinosaurs a bonus in attack. I think it's dinosaurs and zombies. Only shit he's using a level one card. A wee dog he's using. You know I'm saying we've given. I think it's uh what's it called? Uh, like Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel a try, but it looks very sort of. Pay to win, I think, and I 
I can't piss me off it. I'll give me Metal Dragon, then also give me Thunder Dragon. Yes, man, one headed Thunder Dragon. Let's go. Alright, this guy has not upgraded his cards at all. Jesus Christ, no wonder he loses so much. I wonder if these are, this is the same fight against these three villagers. I think against them anyway. Uh, let's get a neck gal out. Thanks, man. Cat girls. And what I'll do is. So I'll just. Uh, I think I'll kill him. Nope, next turn. This is where the cunt suddenly whips it, fucking Zoa, or like, you know, it's one of the most, or like, uh, meet our black dragon. Uh, so let's try this. I don't know what warrior and dragon, what would that do? Sword armor of dragon. That's a bit of go. Cool. It's a dinosaur. With a body co uh, covered in sword like thorns, nothing dare stand in the way of this monster when it charges. Because this game's got quite a lot of like, uh, was it, I don't know what I was gonna say there. My brain broke. All I knew is it started with this game's got. I've got, new, I've got a feeling these are maybe the same uh, fights. So what I'll do is I'll head back. Phew! I just can't win against you. I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna go to the card guy. And I'm gonna hit card shop. We we'll return. Actually, we'll save first. I might accidentally quit out here and lose. I know it's just two jewels, but so what I'm looking at three jewel. So if that's uh... right, this annoys me. Why this one's missing? So this is all the jewels in the game. All the different guys you can play against. So as you can see, I've actually got quite a lot to catch up with. But let's go back and fight. I think he's the guy that was in the in my room. I think. So th those uh, other three members of the in the dueling club, they're the same. So I don't have to duel them again. There's nobody here. Enter. And that guard should come up to me. Everyone's been destroyed. Yes, man. Who are you? No one's allowed here. Get out, duel. You dare to resist me? I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. And then they whip it to be card game table. Like, you could just chuck me out by like, literally grabbing me and just chucking me out physically, but you're the boss, you know, you want to play a kid's card game? Let's go. I know it's not a kid's card game, it's just sounds. It's just funnier if I say it like that. Right. Uh, Dark Elf, let's send Dark Elf out. She's one of my favourite cards in real life and in this game, so I'm going to keep using her. Let's see what I'm up against. Oh no. Jirai Rai Gumo. The spider cunt. But always, oh, that's okay, because you're all dark and... Uh, I don't I think I need... Yeah, here we go. Ryu Cushion and Tripwire Beast. What? Ryu Cushion. Uh, Tripwire Beast and Crawling Dragon number two. So Jirai Gumo is, I remember him specifically from it's a Labyrinth episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where it's like the fight against these two brothers that use a Labyrinth-themed sort of thing. And where Jirai Gumo scared me because it was like, this monster was hiding in the walls and stuff and it was this big spider. Pretty creepy. But I remember I used it a lot in the, uh, when I used to play because it's got really low defence, like really low defence. But it's really high attack so I can, you could just whip it out at like any time and it could be alright. Like, could do all right. Right, we've got rear cushion. Is this weird gargoyle cannon soldier? Nothing can combine here. I think. What I'll do is I'll just put a trap down just in case. Excuse me, and my stomach's going again. Great white, a big shark with horns. That's horrifying. Right, uh, I'll use up some cards here. And hopefully, hopefully, end with it. Oh! Oh! What tail, Corissi? What are you? Attacks in disguise with its whip like tail.
Right, what do you look like? And we're against Ryu Kushin Powered, who's that gargoyle? But he's like a powered up card, which I always thought was really cool. And here we go. Oh, you're like a crow man. Against a wee pink dragon thing. I know this might be a gargoyle, but. Well, technically, it's a, a, a class of fiends or demons in Japan because, you know, can't have Satanism in our children's car or children's stuff. It's also weird because it's like. It's not like. This is proper FF battle music. The music in this game is surprisingly good. It's a bit repetitive because there's only maybe like. There's maybe only like four or five. No, four. It's maybe like. Uh, about 15 songs in the whole game. But there are quite a few of them are bangers. Praise Satan, yeah. It's the same as like. Uh, not so much Pokemon, because Pokemon got censored for a lot of stuff, but you, Digimon got censored a lot for like. Uh, like, the, like, actually, there's a card in this called Dark Magician, who's like a sort of. Uh, He's the main character's card. I don't know if we'll get. We probably won't see him in this game because he's actually pretty rare. But he had like the pentagram on him, and they removed that because all oh, the kind of kids exposed to Satanism. You know, even though in the Bible we're taught about fucking the devil and all that shit. Big Queen of Autumn leaves, and yeah, we've we'll, we'll won. Yes, man. Candle of Fate isn't, I don't think it's a great card. Ah well. You know your cards well, boy. I underestimated you. So it just leaves. This room, it used to be Simon's room. Everyone's been destroyed. Okay, we're just leaving there. Right, so now we're going to... We've got Shrine of Glory and King's Valley. I think King's Valley... Or is it Shrine of Glory? I think Shrine of Glory might be the last section. Go over we gander here. Looks like the ruins of a temple. Well. Let's go check King's Valley. Who's that? None may enter the Valley of the Kings leave. Oh? My, my prince, you're alive! I am studying. For generations, my family has guarded this valley. Please rest assured that I've kept Hyshin out of this valley, my prince. How have you kept him out? Have you played card, card games with him? I am sorry about what happened with the pharaoh and the people. What happened to my monda? The veil once have taken over this land, but now, now that you're alive, there is hope once again. Wait, my mom and dad did, and we're just not talking about it at all. My character's not even like Prince Mikey's. Like, no, nah, fuck it, don't care. Card games, let's go. There was hope once again for everybody. Uh, go to my parents' tomb. Let's. The remains of the pharaoh and the queen are not here. I'm sorry to say that Hyshin wouldn't allow it. Is there anything else you want? Oh god, forbidden runes, let's go. The forbidden runes? Time Moran said it was here. I'm sorry, but I've never seen such a place. There are so many tombs for royalty. Nobody knows which tunnel leads to where. If there is a forbidden tomb, I don't know where it is. My apologies, good prince. Anything else, my prince? Well, you should not let me do it, and I'm just gonna leave. If you require my services, you can always find me here. Got a feeling I'm probably not gonna need your services, right? Uh, shrine. It'll be the vast shrine, maybe? Boy, this is a sacred temple of Lord Hyshin. It's not for the likes of you. Be gone. Right. Where am I gone? Right, so I went there, I got chopped to old jewel ground, I've been there, old car shop, I've been there, let's try the Pharaoh's Palace again. Is there anything something I've, maybe I've missed, or is nobody here, right, enter. Used to be Simon's room, search. You're kidding me, so I need I needed to literally come out there and the game would chop me out and I need to go back in. Oh, that's great game design. When the game would tell me, like, oh yeah, nothing here, so I just leave. So I need to come back in and then search it again. Mikey, dessert. Mikey discovers an ancient papyrus. It's a map to the Forbidden Ruins. This map should lead to the Forbidden Ruins. Okay. Alright, let's go talk to Big Sidine. Who was at Shrine of Glory, wasn't he? No, he was at King's Valley, sorry. 
and then we're going to can I be of service? Give map. So Master Simon did leave behind a clue to the whereabouts of the ruins. Let me see. Right, I know where this is. Please follow me. Later on, you'll find the room marked on the map. Oh my. Well, that's a. Uh, I've heard stories about this place before. The ancient sorcerers, they hid secrets of their magic within the royal tomb. It's rumoured that some sort of secrets were passed to their descendants. So this is the place. There's a drawing on this wall depicting the past. And over there, some kind of map. Let's look at the map first. This map. Or some kind of mark. That drawing wall marks the location of the Millennium Items. And now it reveals the spots in the temples where Hyshin has hidden his Millennium Items. The mazes will remain powerful as long as the Millennium, I Millennium Items remain in the temple, providing them with a source for their magic. You! Oh fuck, it's Kaiba! Or Seto, as he is in the past. I followed you here. I've been searching for the Forbidden Ruins myself. I also believe that Hyshin has found this place as well. With that drawing on the wall to guide him, he discovered the Millennium Items. Now, he may be a mage, but he comes from a line of sorcerers. Are sorcerers and mages not the same thing? That's where D&D, like, just skills me in this. He plans to find all the money in so he may rule over the world one day. Why would Hyson's lackey tell us all about this? Why? You'll find out soon enough. But first, let's see what Prince Mikey is capable of. Now, you know where to find the high mages. If you're half the card master you think you are, use your money in and defeat them. You don't have to listen to you. I'm not talking to you, Tomb Keeper. I speak to your prince. Farewell. And he's off. Hold it. I smell a rat. Settle, he's Hyshin's right hand man. Why in the world would they want to help you? My prince, I advise caution. There is more to us than meets the eye. Look at Drawn, let's have a wee gander. Oh, this is the one from the very start. Looks like a Drawn of some sort of spell. Could this be describing one of the forbidden items? Return. Let us return. I sense there may be more secrets hidden within that chamber. My prince, be wary of the vile designs of Hyshin and his minions. I will always be here for you. If you need me, all you have to do is call on me. Right, here we go. So I've got the shrines unlocked. So there's the. So we've got the forest shrine, the desert shrine, the sea shrine, the mountain shrine. In the meadow shrine. Like, that's where the main part of this game is going to come from, the main sort of difficulty, because these guys are fucking solid. So, what we're going to do is we're going to save because uh, they might do us in. We'll do a couple of the shrines and then next time we'll leave it there and then that's when I'll do quite a lot of off screen grinding and then we should be able to finish the game next time. So, what we'll do is we'll go for who do I think is going to be easier? Because each pharaoh, each not pharaoh, each mage will, each mage has like a lackey. It's like a basically a weaker version of him. But like for example, see, it'll start off in the middle, which will give advantages to certain other monsters. I think we're gonna go for the middle first because I think that's war, not I think it's beastmen. I think that cannot be good for your posture. Who? This cunt's got a body like a birdcage. You, Prince Mikey. I'm amazed that you've made it this far. Too bad you'll never leave here alive. So you beat this mage and then you fight the middle mage. Right, so I don't... This guy might do me in. We'll see what we can do this time. Because I don't... Actually, I don't think I've got much that can stand up to the middle mage. So we've got a warrior there with a wee sort of power boost. Uh, fuck it, let's just get everyone we can out. Maybe what I'll do is... Magical Ghost. Right, Armor Zombie, but I think Armor Zombie's probably got wiped out, so I'm just going to put it in defense mode. So my life points stay nice and untouched. Oh fuck, 2400 Necro Gal. Uh, though, luckily for me, I can make a one-headed Thunder Dragon, so. You're all dad's laughing, wait, fuck, uh, Pluto. 
don't be a red, thank god. There we go. My honking dragon, I hate the dragon, I hate it. It looks horrible. But, what can you do, you know? Uh, I can't make another one just yet. So what I might do is... I'll just throw this out. What's this going to give me? Dice... Dice Armadillo? What the fuck is that? Dice Armadillo? An armadillo-like creature that forms as a die whenever it rolls up its body. Okay. Right, uh... Right, okay, that's... Dice Armadillo, get we shot in. So, it rolls up into a square. I don't know how useful that is for trans like, transportation or anything like that, or... Right, uh, luckily they've not worked out anything too big, but yeah, you know, it's like, uh, right, 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 uh, I can't whip anything out here, I'll have to go with Grappler. <laughs> Again, Grappler's nothing, but at least I can get a little bit of damage in, and I can keep his, I can keep him stopping momentum. Because every time instead, what he'll do is he'll probably target Grappler every time, or my weaker card, whenever he goes. So then if he whips out anything that I can't deal with, I've got time to just drop Regeki on him. Right, so I've got... I'll just make Dragon Zombie. Yeah, it's better than nothing. I'm taking shots, but it's okay. I'm still gonna stay by far in the lead, so we're okay. I'm not. Do I'm like I'm not doing it to get like S rankings and shit. I've just fell backwards into a strategy that works. Uh. Hmm. And dinosaurs. I say fuck it. I can, I can beat this one. First go, just go. Actually, no, fuck it, I'll get my... Who do I like? I'll get Urubi. I like Urubi. No, that wouldn't end it. Crawling Dragon 2. My mask might have fucked me here. Oh yeah, I would have, I would have won that Urubi as well. Ah oh, well, here we go, Crawling Dragon 2. Yes, man. That was relatively easy, but I'm gonna go back and save just in case I got mammoth. Oh, another card I like. Not not a particularly great card. It's about one thousand two hundred, but it's a big. It's a mammoth zombie. It's cool. Like Mikey, you'll regret this victory. Or you'll be facing the power of High Mage Kapura. Return. And we're gonna save. Um, I forgot. I think you might need to beat them in one go. Because I think he'll be back if I do this. I might be making that up, but let's have a wee, a wee look. T. Nah, it's okay. I don't want tea. Teams meeting time. Ah, right. I thought I thought you were just sort of snapping your fingers and going, "Bring me tea, Mikey." You won't win this time. Oh, I need to. I need to beat you and a goat. Ah. Right, this is dangerous, cause. But I hope you have fun in the teams meeting, Megan. This is dangerous, cause this cunt could whip out. Uh, uh, I'm not nearly as lucky with my. You know what? I'll put down Wasteland, cause then he'll play Meadow, and that'll just waste our first turn. Cause I've always got a Meadow card. So this is how I used to buy time when I used to play this game. Right, not much. Uh, get, I'll get a big Flinthead Rex out. Again, won't, won't make anything worse, worth, uh, you know. In defence. And we'll just sit here and wait. Two thousand seven hundred, right? That's something that's particularly or potentially dangerous to me. Uh, 
Oh, I don't want to use Regeki in case you probably get another one. Trap pull. There we go. Put a trap down. I'm going to take a hit, aren't I? Yes, man. There we go. Acid trap pull. Yes, man. Burn the judge. Burn the judge. I can't talk. Burn the judge. Right, here we go. Uh, wait. Dragon Scroll, or the Wandering Doom Dragon Scroll, and Australia Hero 2. I don't know if that's how you say his name, but I will. Because it doesn't matter, because your boy's getting a twin head Thunder Dragon it, and it's wee beady horrible eyes. Big Rabbit Horseman, take care of that. Right, and I think we're okay. I don't think they've got anything that can stand up against. Uh, I think the Meadow guys. I don't want to say. I don't want to say I'm safe, because that's never going to end well if I say that. But I don't think he's got anything that can stand up against uh, Twinhead Thunder Dragon. But I'll put that in defence and hopefully he'll go for the Goddess of the Third Eye. I've got less hit, hit points than what I did before, so I'm going to play a bit more defensively. I'm just going to hope that. Yes, man, there we go. Hopefully I'll be able to get a. Uh, here we go, Crawling Dragon 2 and La La Leon to get a second Thunder Dragon out, or a second Twin Head Thunder Dragon. That's a mouthful every time. Battle Steer, get tip up. And attack him directly. And then next turn I'll just cast Regeki and get to uh, the red hits. And I'll win the match. Yes, man, there we go. And then we'll take on your da. Because I, for I forgot me to do them twice in a row. There we are, yes man. Mammoth Graveyard. Another card that I like, well, I've got two of them now, yes man. Mikey, you will regret this victory. But now you'll be facing off High Mage Kapura. Proceed. I am the Guardian of the Plains, I am High Mage Kapura. You are the Protector of Light, the owner of the Millennium Puzzle. So are they admitting that they're the powers of darkness or whatever? Our Millennium Item is not for the likes of you. It must never be yours. The Millennium Item is Master Hyshans and our key to world domination. But they're just admitting they're evil. First I will defeat you, then I'll take your Millennium Item puzzle and offer it to Master Hyshan. Prepare to defend yourself. Right, come on, good RNG, come on. Come on, RNG gods, be good to me, come on. Cross your fingers and your toes, Mikey, come on. Yeah, it could be worse. I'll put down Wasteland. Just get a t waste a turn. Oh, I like the music now. It's suddenly got a lot more serious. Oh wait. Oh fuck! Gate Guardian, the most powerful card he could have drawn. Uh, Regeki. All I can do now. Don't play our Gate Guardian. I will cry. And you, you don't want me to cry, do you? Right, uh. Hmm. Nothing that I can get super powerful. I'll put, I don't want to get Cyber Source, because Cyber Source actually will lose damage with. or lose due to his thing. No, oh, it's got to make Cyber Source anyway! Fuck! And Cyber Source is actually weaker than what Ruby would normally be. I can get a hit in that way. Come on. Don't whip it in our gate guardian, I will cry. Defense mode, I don't like that, that's even scarier when he doesn't want to play. Oh, I can't make anything super big now. Do I attack? Oh, I don't want to risk it, because that's going to be something that's really, like, hefty. Right, he's got a fuel, that's fine, that's okay. Right, we've got a zombie, so we can make... Oh, let's just use up cards. Let's just give them targets to put in front of them. Well, I can get my... I can poke and get my Thunder Dragon out. Oh, I don't want to attack because if it's defending from these guys, it's probably got a really high defense. 
Oh Jesus, what's he got? I don't like it. It's a medal, so fun. Uh, hmm. Let's just use you boys up. Don't know if this will make it. Probably not. You know what, again, just more... More things to defend against, and I've used up Regeki, haven't I? So I can't even rely on that for a big uh, screen clear. But here we go. Excellent head Thunder Dragon out there. See, if this is a mountain one, I'd be laughing because mountain, and I should have done the, uh, the Ume one. But. Wall Shadow with 3500, I can't defend against that at all. No, I can't. And it's got rid of my trap. I can't beat that. There's no way I can get damage high enough to destroy that. Uh, I think I'm just going to have to... Because you can't surrender in this game. I think this is going to go to a draw. Not a draw. Uh, me using up all my cards. Get that big Black Dragon Jungle King out. Is this three... Wolf Shadows? Yeah, it is. Holy shit. Yep, this game just decided here. So I'm just going to attack this and lose. Because there's nothing I can do against him. But you know what we'll do? Big High Mage has just done us in, but it's okay. We saved just before we went back there. You actually hope to face Master Haishin? Foolish child. I thought he'd have a bigger speech for some of that. That's okay, game over, but you know what? We're gonna go back in, we're gonna take on the Water Mage, and we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna laugh in victory, because water also powers up thunder, as in twin headed Thunder Dragon. And then what we'll do is we'll try the Water Mage, and if that doesn't work, we'll call it quits there, and I'll get more grind done, because I've got enough characters now that I can effectively grind to get really good cards. Because... It's Joey, Kaiba, and a couple of, and these boys are like the main ones. So we're gonna go Sea Shrine, there we go. You, who are? Wait, you're, you're Prince Mikey. How did you get here? Now I walked. The matter's not, you'll not be leaving it alive. And these boys saying the same thing. Big Mammoth Grave, that's cool as fuck. A mammoth that protects the gravesite of its pack. It's absolutely merciless when facing grave robbers. Here we go. Nothing so far. No, uh, so what I'll do. Now, Kishun. Hurricane and Dark Elf. I don't think. Nah, it's not gonna make it. And Dark Elf. 2000, that's not a lot. We've got to put her in defense mode. Because he's going to whip out some big fucking fish that's just going to do us in. Man eating black shark. Yep. Yep, big honking fish. But, crawling dragon too and la la leon. And go together to make a twin headed thunder dragon who is jacked as fuck. Holy shit. And he's getting a power boost. So I'm probably going to hit, like, 3,800. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Right, here we go. Wait, uh... Pump King, we'll get Big Pump King out. Again, not going to do much in the grand scheme of things, but he'll hopefully take the attention off of One-Headed Thunder Dragon. Like... All I can hope for is that I can get two of Twin Head Thunder Dragons out there, I can just start blasting away at them. Uh, okay, let's get an other. What's it got? Let's see what I'll do is I'll just get a. If I can build up enough like mid level monsters, then what I can do is I can just have. Oh, that's actually quite a lot of defence. That was nearly a dangerous one. Then I can just build up a big, like, not a wall, but if I get, like, enough mid-level monsters, then I can do all of the attack and then do enough damage, you know? Uh, but I guess we're making the pumpkin kind of ghosts. 
my main man. There he is, big pumpkin. And then I can do it. Yeah, not bad with level of damage. If I just lay into him now. There we go. Big flower from Pumpkin. I've won this. This yeah, this is gonna be easy. Yes man, let's go. So his big pumpkin fish is oh non defense mode. Right, no more about right, that. Oh yeah, because machines do less damage here as well. Uh I'll choose Regeki. I don't want to risk just in case he's got some like big like big water monster I've never seen before. It's got a crazy high defense. That's okay, we'll just get Thunder Dragon in there, do his thing. Psychic Kappa. Kappas are fucking creepy. No, it cannot be. You weren't meant to win. How can I say it? Sek Sekmaton, forgive me. Proceed. Here we go. I am the high made Sekmaton. You look cool as fuck. You're like some kind of superhero slash fucking. You look like a superhero I designed as a kid. Like, you know, you're like. You're very GRPG right now, you know, we are sort of design. But it doesn't look practical in the slightest. Since time immemorial, it has been our duty to protect the Millennium items. And we shall never allow them to fall into your hands. Prepare to face my sea deck. I don't want to see your deck at all. Prepare to meet your doom. Help, this guy's got to show me his deck. Help. You should pay dearly for your folly. That's where he fucking does me in. Because I've been fucking the boot. Right, come on. Come on, boys. So, there's a speed run for this, which is RNG manipulation. And that's like, see if you press like circle at a very set time. You'll know what cards you're going to get. Right. So. Nothing I can get here. Could make a black dragon thunder king, but that's a black dragon forest king, I think he's called. Jungle king, sorry. But you're, he's not. It's not that he's not powerful, it's just you'll get done in here. So I'm just putting cards out to. Oh. Nepogal, I'm sorry, my cat girl's getting wiped out here. He's probably gonna have a gate guardian, isn't he? I think gate guardian's got the highest attack in the game. Don't be a, don't be a wall. Uh, like a wall shadow, I'll greet if it's a wall shadow. I'll get a black dragon uh, jungle king out as well, just to yeah, let's use up some cards here. A tree's got balls. There we go. Yeah, it's not. A, I'm not going to attack because that thing's going to have a lot more defense than that. If it's in defense mode, it's probably like a turtle that's got a ridiculous amount of. But it's okay because that boy. I can actually kill because it's a wee I've got a purpose as Black Dragon Jungle King. What I'll do is I'll... Right, it's not going to do anything against me. It's not going to give me a purpose. But it will waste a turn for him. So I'll get a wee purpose here and destroy that. I'm laughing because that is a powerful boy that we don't have to fuck with now. And that means next turn, he's either going to waste a turn playing with me. Uh, if he draws with me, that is. The acid trap pulled down. This is, get a purpose. Yes, man. Thank God I chose uh, the, the star thing that I did. Oh, no. Yes, man, trap pulled. Fuck your aqua dragon. Come on, give me a thunder, give me a thunder. Oh, I can make Ryukushin power that way, but it's okay, because Ryukushin power is defeat. What are you? Millennium Shield. Ooh. Probably should save Regeki. Because I can't do anything against the Millennium Shield. Oh, I fucked pronouncing that name. Uh, still no thunder, holy shit. Uh, Soldier, that'll make Flubber Wolf. There we go. So I can't do anything. Oh, should I put Flubber Wolf in defense? Shit. 
But at least that keeps one of his monsters in attack mode. Deep Sea Shark. I'm going to be really worried when he plays. Uh, we've got water. Get for Oh, do I use it now or do I wait till I've got some big boys out in the field? I'll wait. I'll give it one more turn before I play Vegeki. Just grappling Phantom Ghost. It's fa Phantom Ghost. It's right, but you get a little turbus. Wait, keep C Shark. I'll wait until I've got a big Dragon Boy out in the field. Yeah, yeah, that's my attack, my weak ghost. Turtle Bird. I've never seen that card before, holy shit, we got a turtle bird. Wait, I can't get, uh... <laughs> Wasting them, but that's fine. Get a shot against turtle bird. That's a fucking creepy card, I like it. Oh, turtle bird getting your your manky. I like it. Right. uh... Oh, I fucked it. I wait. I could get a thunder dragon here. I uh, I'll wait another turn. I know I'm playing with fire, doing the waiting game here, and you're useless. So I'm gonna put you in defense mode and get a shot on a turtle bird. Because I'm playing the long game here, I'm gonna get a terrible waiting for this one, but I don't care. I'm not playing for. We're not doing it for the ratings. It's a magic card. Right, uh... Right, so Black Land, Fire Dragon, what we'll do is we'll put Wooden Mains up. That should give us a Twin Head Thunder Dragon. I'm scared if that's a Regeki or something like that. Uh, let's go for the Min. Nah, I can't do anything against that. Oh well. What we'll do is we'll pause. Next time we'll play Regeki. We should be able to take him out next turn. Uh, you know what? Let's do. Let's just get to the king right because we're on a wasteland. We'll get him up. Oh, why didn't I use Regeki? Shit! I should have used Regeki. I was an autopilot there. I was quit. I should have used Regeki and got a threat hit. I forgot he's got that Millennium Shield up. See if this costs me the game. I'm going to have a wee cry to myself. Ah, uh, no, I've won. That was a surprisingly close game. Okay, here we go. Uh, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon first. Twin Headed King Rex. And Black Dragon Jungle King. Let's fucking go, boys. Yes, I beat the Water Mage. Yes. Ray and temperature, I don't care. I got a shit card, but I don't care at all. We beat the water mage. We're laughing, boys. You, you're powerful. But you don't stand a chance against the power of Master Hyshin. Mikey gets the Millennium Necklace. So I'm conflicted here, boys. Do I end the stream on a win? Or do I try one of the other ones? Because we've got Desert Forest. Meadow... Mountain's the one I'm scared of. Mountain's probably going to take me the longest. The only one I'm, I was confident doing was the sea one. Uh, well, first I'm going to go save because I might try the desert first because that was where I was there. What can I do for you? You can get me to the card shop and you can get me save. And to save multiple times just to make sure because you know. What time are we on? Two minutes ten. Yeah, fuck it. We'll end. We'll end on a win. Because we got a lot further than I thought I was going to get boozies. We've got to the... We've beaten the Millennium Tournament. We beat Kaiba. We beat Isis after Isis fucking destroying us. We've got... Uh, we've returned to see the past in a really bad way. But we're on the path to redemption. We've got one of the Millennium items from the Sea Shrine. And next, next time, we're going to take on the Meadow Shrine. The Forest Shrine. The Mountain Shrine. And the Wasteland Shrine, I think. So that's the four of them. And then we should be able to finish the game after that. Because then you've got the Labyrinth. Uh, if I get Labyrinth right, then you fight Seto, Haishin, and then the final boss. So, that's doable. 
but now I'm in a good point for uh, grinding, so I can just grind out these cards and get really good cards. So I am feeling good about this, boys. I'm feeling myself. Don't tell Twitch 2 OS. I'll get myself in trouble if I do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it over to this screen. I'm going to turn this music off. Oh, got a wee burst of music there. So what happens when you use a, you know, a PS... Like a PlayStation, a legitimate PlayStation. Don't come after me, please. And you'll get some music on the go. There we are. And, as usual, we're going to end it with... Uh, which got... Sorry, my brain broke there. I don't know what, why my brain broke. Or why I couldn't talk. And as usual, thank you so much for joining us. I've had a fucking great time. I'm really enjoying playing Yu-Gi-Oh! again. Or you go for the memories. It's a game, again, I've said before, I've never beat. But we're getting close, we're getting close to where I was as a kid, because I used to literally just sit and play Scrooge all the time and play against the pals. I never finished the campaign. But you know what? With the power of friendship and love and determination and big ass waifus, we can do this, boys. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling good about this. My next stream is probably going to be either Thursday night or Friday. I'm, I'm working tomorrow, quite busy on Thursday, but then you've got me. All the, like, I'm free quite a lot after that, so I'm going to try and definitely stream a bit more. Uh, I work 12 hour shifts, so I, I can't really stream because by the time I come back from my shift, I'm fucked. Absolutely fucked. But I uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I've had a great time. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm, I'm still going between Yu Gi Oh! for memories and Chrono Trigger. I'm not quite sure what one I'm going to play next, but you can catch it on my Twitter and my Discord. If I, if I even announce them, because sometimes I'll even announce that I've went live. I'm, I'm very un... what's the word? Un... you know what I'm talking about. I don't sort things. But I, uh... So I will we'll call it there. Thank you so much for the subscription, Megan. Cheers for everyone that came on and watched, or chatted, or anything that, or even thought about me. Fucking thank you so much. I'm so lucky to be able to do this. Uh... I... as usual, I've been Mikey. You guys have been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. You guys have been amazing. Uh, if, hopefully I'll catch you in my next stream. If I... Uh, right, I'm starting again. I fucked it. I've been Mikey. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Hopefully I'll catch you in my next stream. But until then, have a good day. Have a good week. And most importantly, boys, have good mental health. Catch you, boysies. <laughs>